This is a short film looking at measures that can be applied in Chengdu in order to attain and give and reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. Chengdu is a city found in one of the countries that is amongst the countries that produce a huge amount of greenhouse emissions, China. It is the capital of the southwest and Sichuan province. Chengdu has a very high population. And one of the things that the people in Chengdu can do to reduce their carbon emissions and be more sustainable is to reduce their population size. This can be achieved if couples have fewer children instead of having a lot of children. For example, the Chan family is larger than the Ling family. Because of their size, the Chan family is more likely to use more resources than the Ling family. According to the NDZ Country Index, which is a project that summarizes the country's vulnerability to climate change and global challenges, China is ranked number 52 and has only 28% governance readiness and 35% social readiness. Their agriculture capacity is zero, which is bad when compared to other countries. For example, the UK does not depend so much on other countries for its food, as can be noted on the graph, that its import dependency ratio is decreasing and its agriculture capacity is increasing. China has to try to be independent when it comes to food production and not rely so much on other countries. This means that Chengdu, being a country, being a city in China, should take very serious measures to reduce its vulnerability to climate change. The people in Chengdu should grow their own food and produce their own food for themselves instead of importing food from other countries. The efficiency and conservation strategy can be applied by increasing transport efficiency. Instead of using petrol-driven cars, they can use cars that require biodiesel, hybrid cars, and electric cars. Another way which would be achieved by applying transport conservation. The number of cars on the road should be decreased so that a few amounts of gases are emitted by vehicles. People can choose to use public transport such as buses, trains, and taxis. They can also choose to use bicycles or simply walk to nearby places instead of using cars to go to nearby places or places with a walkable distance. The other thing that could help change the citizens is working from home instead of going to work as it would lead to a reduction of a lot of gases since people won't have to drive into work every day. Communicating through using technology such as video conferencing instead of driving, driving to go to face-to-face -face meetings would also be very beneficial. Most of the electricity in Chengdu is generated using, a coal, using coal and nuclear energy. Coal is the biggest emitter of carbon. This means that Chengdu should try by all means to eliminate the use of coal in generating electricity. Nuclear power, on the other hand, is not as harmful as coal, so it is better to use nuclear instead of coal. But there are other forms of energy that produce less pollution than nuclear or produce no pollution at all. It is important that Chengdu citizens start using alternative forms of energy such as wind energy, solar energy and hydrogen energy to reduce their carbon emissions. These forms of energy do not cause any pollution to the environment and they are renewable, unlike coal and nuclear. Other forms of energy such as gas energy can be used. Gas energy does not produce so much pollution, but as compared to coal and nuclear. The carbon capture strategy can be used to remove carbon dioxide in the atmosphere thereby reducing the amount of carbon emissions. Plants to capture carbon can be built around Chengdu. Carbon dioxide can be captured in large electricity or fuel plants and from coal and nuclear generated industries and then stored back in the ground. A, a wedge will be achieved by applying carbon capture.
and storage strategy, meaning that 1 billion tons of carbon emissions will be avoided by using carbon capture. In conclusion, the best strategy for Chengdu to be more sustainable is to reduce their carbon emissions by using forms of energy that don't produce a lot of greenhouse gases or produce no greenhouse gases at all. Every citizen should make it their duty to reduce carbon emissions by the way they live their lives on a daily basis.